Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. So wanted to talk about another incident that happened in the Olympics. You may have heard about it. Simone Biles, the world record breaking gymnast, uh, has stepped out of the Olympics for the time being, um, citing mental health issues. Now, generally speaking, there's two polarizing viewpoints on this issue. One of them is that She's taking a break for herself. She is taking care of herself, recognizing that if she's not performing at her best, if she has something, some sort of mental struggle, then she may be jeopardizing her country more so by competing than by stepping away. Um, and, and it recognizes that mental health is a real issue in this country and that mental and physical health are all intertwined. The other general school of thought here is that she's selfish, that she is weak, that she is, um, as a role model to young people in this country, she is showing that uh, when things get tough, that you should just quit and leave your teammates and your country that you're representing hanging. I understand uh, why there would be this kind of polarity on this issue, but there's a bad faith argument here. If you look back a year, and throughout the course of the last year, you will see a lot of conservatives citing the uptick in suicides uh, and, and relating this to the COVID lockdowns. I'm not actually saying that there's not merit to that, uh, to that observation. However, certain political commentators, conservatives in this country have outed themselves as the phonies that they are, uh, making this bad faith argument, fooling people into thinking that they actually care about mental health. My question to you is, how do you feel about the skyrocketed suicide rate in the country due to these murder murderous lockdowns? There's someone in this room right now is dealing with depression. Someone is. So let me tell you a couple things. Number one, you matter to more people than you might have convinced yourself of. And you need to hear that. Number three, what you're living through right now is very tough for a variety of different reasons. So don't be too hard on yourself in this way. Take a deep breath. I think the dehumanizing agenda of these lockdowns have been one of the worst things imaginable. Lock you down in the basement, energy drinks and video games, stay up to five o'clock in the morning and sometime, somehow that is going to give you fulfillment and we're wondering why more young people in California have committed suicide than died of the Chinese coronavirus. And I'm here to tell you, and you guys get it because you're here tonight, our leaders have failed this generation on this issue. They have abandoned young people in America. What they care about is discussing mental health and suicide in a way that benefits their cause. But today, if they were smart, they could have taken Simone's words, which she herself said that part of what led her to coming to this conclusion for herself right now is the effects of COVID, the isolation that she's facing, the fact that spectators can't be there to watch her. She's away from her family, her parents. They can't congratulate her after she finishes an event. These are all part of those long-term ramifications that have resulted as, as a result of the last year. And if these conservatives were smart, they could have recognized that and they could have said, look at what this has done. Look at what this gross, overarching response by our government, overstepping their bounds, has led to possibly the greatest gymnast this country has ever known having to step away. They could have recognized that connection and made that argument, but at the end of the day, can't ever pass up an opportunity to attack a black female athlete in this country, particularly an Olympian who is making a decision for herself and whose actions 
you don't agree with. Don't show up to the Olympics and compete if you're not ready for the big moments. Simone Biles says, this Olympic Games, I wanted to be for myself when I came in. And I felt like I was still doing it for other people as she cried after the team event on Tuesday. So that just, it like hurts my heart because doing what I love has been kind of taken away from me to please other people. Yeah, that's the point, Simone Biles. You're representing your nation, you selfish, you're selfish sociopath. We are raising a generation of weak people like Simone Biles. If she got all these mental health problems, don't show up. Simone Biles just showed the rest of the nation that when things get tough, you shatter into a million pieces. It was all about herself. And she's a disgrace. They show their true colors. They only care about mental health when it benefits their argument. Anyway, I will, uh, I will catch up with you all again real soon. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.